top of your mat. Spread your toes. Those of you who used to practice with me, um, I've changed a few things, so it'll be a different experience for you. Spread your toes, lift them. Bring your hands onto your hips. Bend your knees a lot, and then feel that the low back, stick your butt back a little bit. Feel like your low back is getting some love, some space. Mm -hmm. And then I'd like you to inhale so you feel that the chest is lifting. And then exhale, press the toes back down. Micro bend your knees continually through this little, little part here as we warm up. Attract, magnetize your ankles towards each other. And then fingers really wide. And as if, the, as if you're moving through water, I'd like you to bring your arms up. Inhale. And then look forward. Exhale, bend your elbows. Bring your thumbs behind your heart. Press the earth away. Inhale. Look up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Whew. Back of your heart. Thumbs. Inhale. Reach up. For those of you with tight shoulders, you'll want to bend your left elbow. And you'll have your left hand hovering behind the back of your heart. Those of you, so that this is accessible to you and you're not pushing your head forward. We still have a really proud chest. For those of you who have a little bit more movement in your shoulders, bring your arms up. Inhale. Exhale, shove your hips over. Left hip goes over. Arms try to reach over to the right. Wake everything up. Ah. Inhale, turn your left cheek into the inside of your left arm. Exhale, right arm goes down. Really spread your fingers. Really go for this. Opening up the whole side body. Right, sorry, right waistline is crunchy. Left side is not. It's expanding. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Thumbs behind your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hips go over. Remember, you can do a modification here. You don't have, you have to do you. Right hip goes over, left waistline gets crunchy, right cheek into the inside of your right arm. Ha! Ah. Inhale, exhale, drop your left arm. Reach, reach, reach even more. It's as if you're against a wall. Keep your throat nice and open. Lift your toes. Inhale. Exhale, press them down and come on up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, thumbs behind your heart. Inhale, reach up, look up. Now spread your toes. Keep your hands really, really close in to your body as you come down for first halfway lift. Use your fingertips or for those of you who have blocks, you can use blocks through this practice. Using fingertips, cupcake hands, pulling the fingertips towards the thumb. So not flat hands or palms on the floor. Instead, we want to create space in these finger joints and in our wrists. Lift your toes. Inhale, open up your chest. Try to look forward. Exhale, push your fingers and your toes back into the floor as you bring your elbows out to the side. Woo! First forward bend, whoa, inhale. Bring everything as straight as you can. Exhale, elbows out to the side. Now for these first forward bends, your chest and thighs can be together, obviously. You can only do what you can do. Inhale, open up your chest, halfway lift. Exhale again, elbows out to the side. Ah. Plant your hands this time beside your feet. Inhale, just a little wee lift. Exhale, step back into plank. Bring your hands and arms right underneath your shoulders. Press your heels away. Drop your hips. A good suggestion or a good tip would be to look down towards your feet and make sure that your butt is not way up, that you actually see your pelvis. Zip everything in. Pull the forearms towards each other. Ah, I'm starting to feel warm. Pull the belly button into the backbone and then look forward. Inhale, curl forward. Roll over your toes and then slower than you want, pressing down and forward, bring your knees onto the floor. Ah. 
tuck your toes, inhale, come forward, modified chaturanga, bend your elbows, press down and forward, go slower than you want, chest is coming down, fingertips, undo all ten toes, nails into the floor, undo, yeah, those feet, so your shoelace side of the feet, have your elbows out 90 degrees. Pull your four fingers towards the thumbs and the thumbs towards the four fingers. Tuck your chin in. Tuck the tail. Pull the belly button into the backbone. Keep your, your chin tucked slightly. You're not trying to get a kink in your hose. As you inhale, come on up. Proud chest, throat is open. Press those toenails into the floor. Exhale, pull with your hands to the back of your heart is softening and coming forward. Slower than you want. I know all the ladies just love this because we're, yeah, because we're challenged here. And then exhale, <clears throat> bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. Bend your knees, soles of feet on floor, armpits closed as you press down and forward and go into an active child's pose. Toes are tucked. Again, with these cupcake hands, they're called, but Let's just not talk about food right now. Let's just talk about yoga. Pulling your four fingers towards your thumb, your thumbs towards your four fingers. Push down. Ears near your arms so you feel the whole side body really, really working here. Press through the palms of your hands. Inhale, curl forward into angry cat. Exhale, blast your eyes and your heart forward as you move into up dog. I always find I'm in the wrong position here. I want to get my chest in front of my shoulders. So walk forward if that's your situation. Now initiating from the belly on your next exhale. First down dog. Ears near your arms. Press through the palms of your hands. Breathing. Ears near your arms. Whoa. And then right knee into your chest. Curl your back like angry cat. Land your right foot. Reach forward like you're, you have a shag rug. So the arms are quite wide. Fingers again. Now press the back heel away. Look forward. Lift your front toes so you feel where your toes are. And then on the next exhale, press the toes down. Bring the left leg parallel to the floor. Kind of like 90 degree legs. Roll the left hip down, all the, the back left toes are pointing to the floor, you feel everything, curl your back a lot, press down and forward, challenge is going to be bringing the left leg to be beside the right leg but hovering, that's hard to do, and then drop your left foot, grab your toes, yogi grip, inhale, Open up your chest. Exhale, elbows up to the side, chest and thighs together. I hope you're sweating a little bit. <sighs> Exhaling and maybe you have to side groan and moan uh, to get a little bit of that good or bad tension out of your body. Lean back into your heels, lift your toes. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands to the top of your femurs, right below your hips and press with your arms and your hands so that your length of your spine is really getting long. Top of your head moving forward, but moving back. Inhale into this. Exhale, press your toes, come all the way up. Micro bend your knees, let your shoulders relax, close your eyes and feel. Oh, feel everything. Inhale, eyes open, look up. Exhale, forward bending. Inhale, halfway lift with fingertips. Exhale, step back into plank. Plant your hands. Inhale, high plank. Tuck the tail. Bring your knees at exactly the same time. Slow, slow, slow to the floor. Retuck your toes. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, modified chaturanga. Squish your armpits closed. Press down and forward with the palms of your hands. Ugh. Undo those tucked toes. All ten toenails on the floor. 
fingertips out to the side, tuck your chin, tuck the tail, pubic bone to sternum, inhale, come on up, do your best. Exhale, pull your hands towards the back of the mat, press the toenails into the floor, exhale, oh. bring your hands underneath your shoulders, armpits closed, fingertips wide, pressing through the palm of your hand as well, bend your knees, flex your feet, eyes and heart forward, move into active child's pose, toes are tucked, fingertips open, pressing through, creating room in your wrists and in all the joints in your hands. Breathing, ears near your arms. Ah. Press through the palms of your hands. Inhale, curl forward. Exhale, blast your heart forward, up dog. Press your chest open, pull your shoulders back. Take an inhale here. And then on the next exhale, drag your hips back to down dog. Nice. Breathe. Left knee into your chest. Flex your left foot. Left foot, left thumb. Right heel is pushing back. Bring your hands wider and forward. Inhale. Exhale. Press through that left toe, the left foot, and bring your right leg parallel to the floor. You can have your knees micro bent, of course. Roll the right inner thigh towards the left, dropping your right hip, trying to feel that everything is um, level with your hips, even though you can't see them. And then curl your back a lot, pull your forearms towards each other. You can micro bend your left knee, of course, as you arc your right leg towards the floor, but again, we're gonna challenge ourselves by trying to hover. Spread the, the right foot. Spread your right toes. Exhale, ha, huh. release. Let go of the tension in your hands. Flip the palms of your hands. Ragdoll, chest and thigh together. Ha, huh. inhaling, exhaling. Hmm. Lean back into your heels. <clears throat> Bring your hands onto your femurs. Press the femurs back. Oh, feel. Give your body that release of an exhale that you, you really mean the exhale. And then inhale, come on all the way up. Micro bend your knees. And then just feel. Oh. Hmm. Close your eyes. So now we're going into the meat of this practice today. Three poses, repeated three times. So many of you have done this with me, and this is always an exploration of exactly what's happening and how our minds and our bodies are adapting as we go through each of these. <clears throat> so let's go on to the middle of your mat. I'm just going to take a little water here. Hmm. Middle of your mat in your version of a child's pose. So for some of you, that means um, you can't come down exactly in a tight little child's pose, or you need more space and you have your knees really wide, or you have a bolster in front of you or blocks to support this child's pose. So we're going to come down into child's pose and have your arms forward, palms on the floor, or you can bring your palms together and your elbows out to the side, which I really like right now. And then put the forehead or the space between your eyebrows on the pads of your thumbs. And then now because we, our tummies are really close to our thighs, um, we can really feel the breath moving in the side body and in the back body. So this is going to be, when we uh, come back to this pose, this is the place you're going to rest. So if you can sort out your breathing, you will get an excellent rest. Oh, and if you need to sigh or groan and just recover from our little blast of heat, then go ahead and do that. Hmm. Sighing, groaning, moaning. 
Just making sure that you really are moving that lowest rib. You're using all of your breath to your greatest advantage this morning or this evening or whenever you're joining me. Reach your hands forward. We're going into first down dog. So pressing your hands forward in your mat. I'm just going to move back a little bit here. And then middle fingers, check out your hands. Middle fingers are parallel. I really want you to feel that you can spread your fingers even more, even more. Your butt is going back. Your pelvis is going back. I'd like you to come forward as if you're going into all fours. Um, and then tabletop. And then tuck your toes. Resist the temptation to move those toes because you all actually are set up for down dog. So press through the palms of your hands and move into down dog. Now you can move your feet a little bit wider. You can bend your knees a lot, especially those of you with very tight hamstrings. You can do you. And we're going to hang here for a little bit of time. So the strategies are uh, moving around a little bit, maybe bending one knee and the other. Another strategy would be to lengthen your inhale and your exhale. So you totally concentrate on that. Breathing. <sighs> Inhaling, exhaling, and sighing and groaning and moaning. Breathing. <sighs> hmm. Ears near your arms. Keep your throat nice and open. Hmm. And for the next poses, which will be triangle, if you have a wall near you and it's convenient, um, using the wall is really nice. I'm going to stay on my mat, but I'm going to have, of course, you've heard this, an imaginary wall, like an imaginary friend. I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to pivot your left foot, look at the top of the mat, bring your right foot between your hands. Now, just take a moment here to let the body figure some, some things out. Now, Pivot the back foot so that the instep is in line with your front heel. And then it helps if you take your right arm behind your right buttock to help yourself up into standing. Okay, so do a visual check again. Are your feet in the best place for you for a triangle? Because we're going to be holding it. So you should have equal weight, your chest to the side, Everything is in a line. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, slowly shove your left hip back. Now, we're going to enter this triangle um, in a soft way. So I'd like you to bend your elbows in scarecrow style and have crab hands. And both knees are bent as you come into your triangle. And your right hand can come wherever it needs to be, on your right shin, your right thigh, but you're trying to stack the left side over the right side, opening up your chest to the side of your mat, or if you're doing it against the wall, you know what to do, you want to lean against the wall. Keep your throat nice and open so that there's no possibility that you're stopping circulation to your brain. On an inhale, feel like your chest is moving to the top of your mat. Exhale, left arm goes up, Try to move every single part of your body from every other part of your body. So right hand trying to be away from left hand. And then for those of you who like to have a little challenge here, you can lift your toes, inhale, oh, exhale, press your toes back into the floor. If this um, position with your left arm is causing you to think too much about your neck, Drop your left hand onto your left hip and just feel that. I'm going to offer some challenges here. Inhale, left arm bone goes up. Those of you who have it in you right now, bend the left elbow, shoot the arm bone up and overhead, fingers wide. There should be lots of feelings here. Oh, look down. Left hand circles down. Lift the back heel, press through. 
So feet are a railway, railroad tie set up. And then press through, curl your back a lot. And then on an exhale, bring your right foot back oh, into down dog. Breathe. And just take a moment to notice any differences. Be curious about the differences. Pivot the right foot, left knee into your chest, curl your back a lot. Land your left foot at the top of the mat. Front knee over ankle, press the back heel away. And then just rotate that back foot so it's in line for triangle as we're going to go back into it on the left side. Left hand comes behind your left buttock. Inhale, come on up. Get yourself organized, do a visual check again. Yeah, equal weight on the feet. Your chest now is facing the right side, long side of your mat. Inhale, arms coming up. <sighs> Exhale, crab, arm, crab hands, scarecrow arms. Bend your knees so everything is nice and supple. You're not entering the pose with so much intensity. You're going to shove your right hip back. Left hand is going to come wherever you need. For those of you with blocks, Use your blocks. Those of you against the wall, use your wall to lean against. So everything is coming down. You still have your scarecrow arms. Everything is supple. I want you to inhale into your chest. Your head is in line with your spine. Exhale, straighten-ish your legs and reach up with your right arm. Take a big inhale. Whoa. Keep your throat open. Exhale, feel. <sighs> For those of you who find this difficult on this side with your neck, then you drop your right hand on your right hip and keep opening and spiraling your chest to the side of your mat. Those of you who like a little more of a challenge today or this side feels good, right arm bone goes up, inhale, exhale, bend the elbow, shoot the arm bone up and overhead. If you really want to challenge yourself, left eyeball to the ceiling. Hmm, breathing. Feels so good. Look down. Right arm circles down, but slowly. You should be sweating now. Lift the back heel. Just arrange your leg, your feet, so they're hip width apart. Separate leg forward bend stretching transition. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, press down, curl your back. Go into down dog. Woo. Feel this. Inhaling. Exhaling. Come forward. Curl your tail in as you allow your knees to come down to the floor. This is your rest. So make it so, so delicious. You can use your arms in any way that makes sense for you. Curling them down. Bringing the palms of your hands to the ceiling. Tucking your chin in just gently, feeling you still have lots of space for breath and circulation. And in this pose, I think it's really good to just do a little bit of swishing. So that you're just sending a relaxation message to your body that it's not such a big deal. It's just down dog, triangle, child's pose. Hmm. Take a big inhale, and on exhale, sigh or groan. Bring your hands forward, fingers really wide. Shove those hands down and forward, fingers wide, middle fingers parallel. Feel the length in your spine and the warmth. Inhale, curl forward. Exhale, tuck your toes, second down dog. Well, not really the second, but the second in this sequence. Breathe. Noticing. Ears near your arms. Remember, your feet can be wider. You can angle them out. You can bend your knees. You do what makes you feel confident that you can hold this pose. Breathing. Hmm. Inhaling. Exhaling. And of course, you can always come down on your knees in, in this pose and just take a break and gather your stuff again. Gather your courage. Gather your breath. Ah, inhaling. Exhaling. Triangle. 
Pivot the left foot. Look at your hands. Keep your throat nice and open. Bring your right knee into your chest. Curl your back a lot. Pull your forearms towards each other as you land your right foot. Pivot the back foot. Do visual check even here. Just take your time. Feel the releases when we stop. Then right hand behind your right buttock. Inhale, come on up. Both knees bent, facing the left side of your mat. Here we go. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. Scarecrow arms, crab hands. Such a nice entry into triangle. Take your time so you can feel every single beautiful part of this. Right hand goes wherever it needs to, in front of or behind for triangle. Inhale, open up your chest so that your chest is moving towards the front of your mat. Exhale, everything, all limbs, trying to move away from each other. So straighten this, your legs best you can. Those of you who'd like to try to challenge yourself, it would be left eyeball looking at your left thumb. Do what makes sense for you here. You don't have to achieve the final pose or whatever you think the final pose is. That's not the point. The point is to feel. Inhale everything again away from each other. Exhale, bend the left elbow. Shoot the left arm bone up and overhead. Fingers really wide. Right eyeball to the ceiling. Try to smile through this. Inhaling. Exhaling, left hand comes down, lift the back, left heel, feet are hip width apart, left heel lifted, all ten toes to the front of the mat, inhale, pull your hands towards the back of the mat, exhale, oh, separate leg, forward bend stretching, press the palms of your hands into the floor, right underneath your shoulders or on your blocks, lift the front toes, Dig the right heel in, lift the back heel, curl your back a lot, angry cat. Imagine that you could actually hover this right foot somehow, by magic, off the floor. Inhale into this, exhale right leg, shoots back, down dog. Ah, ears near your arms, feel the heat, this is good. Pivot the right foot, look at your left thumb, bring your left knee into your chest, curl your back a lot, go slow, left foot quietly comes beside your left thumb, take your time, pivot the back foot, front heel back, instep, all organized, inhale, open up your chest, yeah, left hand comes behind, come on up, both knees bent, facing your whole body, Shoulders and hips towards the right side of your mat. Knees are nicely bent. Do a visual check for your feet. You want everything good. Inhale, arms coming up. We're really opening up now. Exhale, scarecrow arms, crab hands, both knees bent. Push your right hip back. Ah, oh, moving into triangle. Noticing, can you, can you in this triangle bring this right rib cage over your left? Just a little bit more. Inhale, open up that throat. Feel like your whole chest is moving towards the front of your mat. Exhale, hands, arms, legs, trying to be straight. Breathe into this effort. That's the only way we're gonna survive, is breathing. Inhale, chest opening. Exhale, bend your right elbow and shoot it up and overhead, fingers really wide. Smile through this. It helps. Ah. Look down. Right arm circles down. The inside of the front foot. Lift the back heel. Bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. Back heel lifted. Dig your left heel in as well. This is extra special fun here. Inhale. Open up your chest. Roll that right hip forward. Exhale. Dive in. To talk to your left hamstring. Inhale, come on up. 
Exhale, plant your hands, curl your back, bring your forearms towards each other. Remember, your hands are either on blocks or they are hmm, um, underneath your shoulders for sure, regardless. Curl your back a lot. Inhale into your back body. Exhale, left foot comes back. Down dog. Inhale, curl forward, tuck tail. Bring your knees down at exactly the same time to get ready for child's pose. Ah. Undo that, those tucked toes, shoelace side at the feet, and do the child's pose that is calling to you. Bring your hands together. If you want to do that, I'm going to just lay my forehead on top of the pads of my thumbs and just swish from left to right so that I'm sending a little bit of a relaxation response to my body. Because <sighs> I want to wipe it out. I don't want my body to, to anticipate what's coming up even though my mind knows. I want my body to just go with the flow. Hmm. If you need to sigh or groan, you still feel that things are have built, built up a little bit too much, sigh, groan, moan, laugh, sing, something. <sighs> Reach your hands forward. Your pelvis is still back. Spread your fingers, look at them. Middle fingers are parallel. Inhale, curl forward. Angry cat. Exhale, tuck your toes. Move into down dog. Breathe. Ha. Ah. And maybe you're noticing that this down dog is a little bit better. Maybe your legs are straightening. It's not necessary. It's from the wrist to the hip is the first job of down dog. Breathing. Tilting your hips, almost like in cow pose, where we really feel that we're not, where, where we feel we know and we can move the spine into different shapes. Pivot the left foot. Final sequence here, or final triangle, and then we're going to do some other things. Curl your back, right knee into chest, look at your right thumb, exhale right foot comes down. Pivot the back foot. Front knee over ankle, don't pop up yet. Just take a moment. Then right hand behind your right buttock. Inhale, come on up, both knees bend, facing. Your body is now facing <laughs> the left side of your mat. Bring your arms up, scarecrow style. Crab hands. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, you're getting it now. Shove your left hip back. Line up the left rib cage over the right. Use your blocks, use your hands, coming down onto the floor, opening up. Everything is still nice and soft. Inhale into your chest so your chest moves forward, your throat is open. Exhale, everything expands away from each other. Maybe this time you can start to think about your right eyeball to the ceiling. So additional challenge, is left arm goes up, inhaling, exhale, let it fall behind you. Oh, feel everything. And then circle the left arm all the way to the front of your mat. And of course, your eyes are going to go to the front of the mat. But take your time as you bring your left fingers on the inside of your right foot and lift the back heel. Get your blocks organized or whatever you need. I'm using fingertips underneath my shoulders. Dig your right heel in, lift the front toes. Back heel is lifted. Feet are hip width apart. Inhale, exhale, say hello to your right hamstrings. Oh, keep spreading your right toes so it's extra special. Press through that right foot. Plant your hands, curl your back. You could dig your right heel in and lift those toes again. Pull the forearms towards each other. Inhale in your back body. Exhale, down dog. Whoa. <sighs> Pivot the right foot. Look at your left thumb. Bring your left knee into your chest. Land your left foot. Take your time. Let your body release a little bit before you go into this 
second and final triangle for today. Um, set up your right foot. Yep. Left hand comes behind your left buttock. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, both knees are very flexy and bendy and springy. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, scarecrow arms, crab hands. Inhale into your chest again. Exhale, shove your right hip back. Start tilting into your triangle shape. Really thinking of right rib cage over left. Feeling every single beautiful part of this. Left hand on your thigh, shin, floor, block, whatever makes it good for you. Those of you on the wall are really having a great time. <laughs> Inhale, open up your chest, keep your throat open, head in line with your spine. Exhale, everything moves away from each other. Reach up, fingers wide, feel your big toes. It's a beautiful thing. Challenge, inhale, open up your chest again. Exhale, let your right arm fall behind you so that your whole right chest, your whole right side is opening up. Hmm. Look down the top of your mat. Circle your right arm to the top of your mat. Hands on either side of the left foot. Lift the back heel. Just move your feet so that they are hip width apart. All ten toes to the front of the mat. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, come on down. Dig your left heel in. Spread your left toes. Mm, feels so good. Try to smile through this hamstring work. Ah, plant your hands if you'd like or use your blocks. Do what you need to do. Roll your right hip forward. Left hip back. Inhale into your back body. Exhale, left foot goes back. Down dog. Whoa. Feel the quality of this down dog. How it has changed from the first one that we did together. Inhale, curl forward. Almost like an angry cat or going into plank. And then exhale, cow pose, opening up your chest, drop your knees at exactly the same time, but so slowly, so slowly. You can just, you're just so looking forward to it. Knees come on the floor. Ha, child's pose. For those of you who found this hard on your wrists, rotate your wrists. It's normal. It's a lot of work that we're doing right now. We do a lot of our um, <clears throat> work in terms of earning income and socializing, using our hands and keyboarding. And so we need to take care of those wrists. Spread your and wiggle your fingers, spread them. And then flip the palms of your hands, bring them to the top of your mat and just, uh, just chill. So taking a moment to really let this little short practice, we're going to go into our pigeon and swan poses now so we can benefit from those. But this is just like a nice nourishing moment. So make it nourishing. Mm. Breathing. Ah. Letting, letting good and bad tension leave you. The body doesn't know the difference. It just sees it as tension. So, sighing, groaning, moaning. Ah, such a good thing to do. For those of you who can come up into Japanese seated posture, just take a moment in Japanese seated posture. Others can sit with fire log legs or crossed ankles. So, those of you who are with me in Japanese seated posture, you're on the shoelace side of your feet at this point, and you're going to let the wrists rest on your thighs so that you're getting another beautiful wrist stretch. And I'd like you to have your chest moving forward, your shoulders moving down and back, and you feel the tissues in the lumbar, and you also feel the tissues in the back of your neck. Close your eyes so you can really come right in to your body. Feel the inhaling, 
and the exhaling, moving through how your ribcage is responding to that, how your face is responding to that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's just shift the weight to either side. We're going to try to do, we are going to do pigeon in three different ways, using gravity in three different ways. So make sure you're on, on your mat. If you've got blocks or books, um, go and grab them. <clears throat> so we're going to take our right leg. This is going to feel good after all that work we just did. Elbows out, matador style. Those of you who've been to Spain know exactly what I mean. And pull the right leg back a lot. Exhale, with the right hand still holding the foot, you're going to extend as if you are going to land your heel on the floor, but you don't. Inhale, pull, pull back. Proud chest, elbows out. Really pull that right leg back. Exhale, right foot hovers. Right leg hovers. Inhale. Yeah. Exhale, hovering. Inhale, right leg comes back. And then for those of you who can manage to get your ankle and your foot on your thigh, and you can always use your block to bring the earth up, you can be here. Those of you who have not, don't have the flexibility in your hips yet, just put your foot on the floor, the right edge of your foot, toes illuminated. Those of you who are really working hard at this may want to put your right foot below your knee. So you do you. Pull the flesh back. Get everything lined up to the front of your mat. You can use your fingertips on either side. I really like using fingertips and <clears throat> asking my arms to do something as well. Dig your left heel in. Micro bend your left knee so the back of the knee is not flat on the floor. Inhale, chest opens. Exhale, heart moving over your left knee. Eyes on your big toe, spread those toes. Nice, feel everything. Some of you will be able to bring your hands forward or grab the left foot. Or some of you might actually want to explore what does it mean if I bring both my hands on the outside of my left leg, that's different, or to the inside. And then just feel that for a moment. Inhale, come on up. And then grab your elbows or extend your arm bones up and overhead so you have the weight of both your head and your arms talking and releasing into the right hip. I just noticed that I was holding on a lot. So see if you can't relax that whole right leg. Let it do its work. Let it get to the floor if that's where it wants to go, or at least towards the floor. Arms coming back, fingertips. Bend your right knee, grab the front of your shin, grab your poor ankle, your poor right leg, extend your right leg. Notice it's longer. Inhale, left leg comes back, matador arms. Really pull it back. We're trying to create the space. Exhale, left hand hangs onto it as you go and bring your left leg hovering off the floor. Inhale, left leg back, open up your chest. Exhale, left foot comes to the floor. Inhale, exhale, left leg hovering coming to the floor, but not really touching. Inhale, left leg comes back. Now you're going to experiment without knowing whether this side is going to be good and not being a judgy person. It's only your leg. It's doing its best. You're going to either put your heel on the very, very top of your right thigh bone, or you're going to bring your foot onto the inside. Move the flesh. Get your hip bones and your shoulders lined up. You can use your fingertips to start with. Dig your right heel in. Micro bend your right knee so the back of your knee is not on the floor. It's pulling. Your right leg is helping you. Inhale. Oh, exhale. Heart over your right knee. Do what you need to do with your arms. Have a little moment. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. 
Inhaling, exhaling, feeling. Lots of feelings. Use your fingertips. Inhale, come on up. Go slowly so you can feel everything. Exhale, come to seated. Still digging your right heel in. Still spreading your right toes. Bring your arms up. Your head and your arms are adding to the repositioning of your left hip, that left leg into that hip socket. Exhale, release. Bring your left knee into your chest and then just hang here for a moment, grabbing in front of your shin, and then help poor old left leg all the way forward. Nice. <clears throat> Fingertips to the side. If you do have blocks, this is a great way to use a block. Use it as a spacer between your upper thighs so that your knees and your toes are all going to the ceiling. You can or you don't have, you know, you can remove them. If you've got your knees slightly bent, pull those heels towards each other, <laughs> towards your pelvis. Inhale, exhale, forward bending. Yeah, spread your toes. Look at them. Those of you who have a little bit more flexibility can grab whatever you can or can use your bolsters. You know what to do to bring the earth, your chest and your legs and the earth in a better position for you by filling in the spaces. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, release. <clears throat> We're going to bend our knees. So we're going to come down, we're going to create a little bit more heat as we go into our lying down pigeon. This is our transition. Those of you who have blocks, take the blocks between your hands. Those of you who have two blocks can put one between your knees and one between your hands. You don't need them, you can just imagine. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, tuck tail. Pull belly button into backbone. And then you're gonna go slower than you want. So you're pulling all the muscles in to the bones. You are thinking of pubic bone to sternum. As you come down, if things get a little sketchy and you go, oh my goodness, I'm, this, this is not working for me today. You go inhale, you encourage, and you come out of the pose and then you exhale and you slide through. And you'll see that you will have um, gathered some more strength. If your feet start to come off your mat, then bring your feet a little closer to your pelvis. Believe me, this is worth it. This is all about the reward at the end. You can wiggle your fingers. I always find that helps. Oh my goodness, I'm going to groan with you all. Arms out to the side. Oh. Palms open to the ceiling. Hmm. Tense your knees towards each other. Soles of your feet are at the edges of the mat, the long sides of the mat. Backs of your hands are relaxed. And you're so happy to be on the floor. And you can feel the infinite movement in your spine, in your hips, in your shoulders as your body responds to gravity. I always find that I need more room for my neck. So you can inchworm your body a little longer, lift your head and reposition so that it's in a nice, nice, nice relaxation moment. This is not going into Shavasana. We are going to do uh, another pigeon. So open your eyes if you close them. Bring your feet behind your hips, so behind each buttock. Then left leg, you're going to press through the right foot and left leg comes up to the ceiling. Spread your left toes, pull your left toes towards your shins. Shin. Bend the left knee into your chest, flex that left foot, put the ankle and the foot on the outside of your right thigh. Now do a little check. Is your pelvis nice and even or have you already started to move to the left or to the right? Pull the belly button into the backbone. Activate your right toes as well. Inhale into your chest so you feel it. And then on an exhale, bring both legs, the apparatus of your legs, the shape that we've just created, 
towards your chest. Take your right hand on the outside of your right foot, or you can bring it underneath your right thigh. You can thread the needle with your left hand, interlocking behind the right thigh, your fingers. So you have to do you. Press through, again, the belly button to the backbone. We want to feel the sacrum into the floor. For those of you who are threading the needle, you can press your left elbow towards that left thigh. And as much as you're pulling the legs towards you, you're pushing. This is extra special fun. Those of you who'd like to go a little deeper, take the right hand on the outside of your left foot, the left hand on the outside of that left knee. Take your right leg up, spread your right toes, pull the left leg towards your chest even more. Inhale, raise the right leg even higher to the ceiling. Exhale, right leg comes down towards the front of your mat to hover. Keep pulling that left leg towards your chest. Inhale, right leg comes up. I think I can hear the groaning one more time. Exhale, for those of you who are trying this, try not to bring this pose into your face. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, bend your right knee, right foot behind your right buttock. Oh, let the whole, don't, don't move your left leg, but feel the circulation as you let that left leg relax. And you can feel tingly, warm circulation through your left hip. Bring your left leg up to the ceiling, spread your left toes, bend your left knee, sole of foot on floor. Ah, oh, just take a moment to feel this. Such a good feeling. Right leg goes up to the ceiling, spread your right toes. Bend your right knee into your chest, flex your right foot, put the ankle and the foot on the outside of your left thigh. Check in. Are you kind of leaning to one side or the other? Pull the belly button into the backbone so you really feel that your sacrum is stabilized. If you need to inchworm your body a little longer, then go ahead and do that. Now inhale so you feel the air coming up into your chest. Move on the exhale, bring your legs, that's one unit, towards your chest. Left hand can go behind the left thigh, belly button to backbone, and right hand can interlock behind, threading the needle. This allows you to take your right elbow and push that right thigh bone away, even as much as you're pulling everything towards your chest. Try to smile through this, it's intense. Those of you who'd like to go a little deeper, left hand on the outside of the left foot, right hand on the outside of the right knee. So your arms, your strong arms, are pulling that right bent leg towards your chest. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, it arcs down to hover towards the front of your mat. So it's extended and it's straight. Inhale, left leg comes up. Don't Forget about your right hip and what you're doing and working. You're pushing and pulling. Exhale, left leg comes down. So as much as you're pulling right leg towards you, you are pushing with the muscles of the leg. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, left knee bends. Left foot comes on floor. Oh, wow. Feel everything. Right leg relaxed. Right foot can relax. Feel the circulation, feel the movement, feel the space. Bring your right knee, right leg, sorry, up to the ceiling. Spread your right toes, bend your right knee. Come up onto your elbows. Come up onto your hands. And then bring your feet hip width apart. And then let's just do this beautiful windshield wipering thing that's just going to be a signal to the body that, yeah, perhaps we're going to get a rest. So spread your toes. This is just a beautiful, easy to do twist. Inhale, knees to the ceiling. Exhale, knees to the right. So this, my friends, is the place where you can get your blankies, you can get set up for your Shavasana, and you can have a beautiful, long, relaxing Shavasana. 
I'm so grateful for you joining me today. It really means the world to me. Um, I hope that you're, the rest of your day or evening or whatever is fantastic. Thanks so much. Namaste.